This high-speed rail uh, fiasco continues. Yeah, because uh, Jerry- now Jerry Brown actually wants to budget monies from the dopey cap-and-trade tax on businesses and hand it over to the high-speed rail authority project. It's just a few hundred million dollars. It's too small a number to really have any effect. And uh, there are several high-speed rail stories today. Uh, there's an assemblyman who wants to put a ballot measure to stop high-speed rail. Yeah, have us re-vote on it. Uh, right now, though, we're going to talk with uh, State Senator Andy Vidak, uh, a Republican from Hanford. And he wrote a piece today uh, just begging Jerry Brown to stop it. Just <laughs> stop it. This is silly and hopeless and wasteful. Let's get Andy Vidak on here. Vidak. Vidak, rather. Andy, how are you? Fantastic. Great to be here. It's a great piece you uh, wrote today. Why don't you uh, go through your your plea to Jerry Brown, why he should stop the nonsense? Well, I, I mean, first of all, this 250 that he, that he wants to spend for uh, out of the cap-and-trade fund. I mean, for, that's for eminent domain. They're just trying to get this thing um, going. They're desperate. Uh, this the court cases are going to stop this. Hopefully, I mean they are not. They're spending the cost is way up, five times as much as it should be. Well, let's it's talk about well. To- let's talk about where you're going right there. You believe he wants the 250 million from cap and trade to use on eminent domain to take people's properties, like in your area, Kings County. That's what you're saying. Exactly. A lot of that's going to be farm. You know, it's going to be farm. It's going to be trees. It's going to be plants. That makes no sense. Uh, I don't think it's legal either what he's doing. Um, they need all the money they can get to get this thing started. They, they, they want the baby. They want it started. And uh, we've just got to do everything we can to stop it. The state of California, the people of California, this is not what we voted on. It's not going down existing corridors. It's going to cost five times the amount of what we voted on. There's no private investment. It's, it's not going to go 220 miles an hour. It's just a boondoggle from start to finish. And I think the people of California deserve a revote on this. What gives the government the right to spend more money than what the people approve? One of, mean, the, what, to, one of the things you wrote is that when this was originally pitched to voters, the price tag was $33 billion. And then you say that the chairman of the Senate Transportation and Housing Committee said it may be 300 or $350 billion. Is that true? That's exactly right. Who that, said that's that? Exactly right. Desaulnier. Who's that? Yeah. Desaulnier. Senator Mark Desaulnier. Yeah. yeah, and he's a Democrat yeah. too. So his his price tag, he thinks it may cost three hundred and fifty billion dollars. I, I think we all, anybody who's actually coming from a business background, knows that this thing is just ballooning. It's going to be way more than uh, you know. Anytime you get government, look at the big dig. Look at all these projects. Look at the bridge in the bay. I mean, these things just cost more than. Uh, then promise, and then they promise jobs. Anytime you know they're saying it's going to be local jobs here in my district. Well, that's not true. When you have federal money, you're going to have people coming from Pennsylvania, Florida, Chicago. I mean, all over the country that are, are eligible to get these jobs, and it's a job killer right now. There's, there's. I'm doing a whistle stop tour. We're, we're going to businesses that are in the path of this thing. They don't have good. They're not hearing the correct things from the authority. Um, they're having a hard time keeping their employees because their employees are looking for another job now because they think that their job may be gone. I mean, there's there's folks going to leave the state. They're going to move their businesses. They just they can't understand what what to do. Well, what was the real motivation for this? Just to create uh, a pool of money so that all these parasites, these politically connected parasites, could earn a six-figure living for a few years, maybe reward some unions with some uh, make-work jobs for a few years. I, I mean, this, I it, this is so costly and so preposterous, it's hard to believe that anybody with a rational mind would think this would ever be built. Well, I, I, and, and that's, I think there's a lot of truth to what you just said, because I call it a pinata in so many respects. You know, uh, those who know how to duck and dive are going to grab all the money in the candy when this thing blows up, and the rest, the rest of California is getting hit by a stick. It, 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 it's exactly that. You know, there are some people that are going to make a lot of money, and uh, and then this thing's just going to stop. There's not going to be any help from the federal government. I think that's going to be – that's pretty plain. It's, they, they're spending money that they don't have. I mean, my goodness, look at the state right now and look at our drought situation. Look at our water situation. This is this train boondoggle is going to put us in debt, our grandchildren in debt. Well, and, and, and for what? Let's work on some infrastructure – like on our roads, let's work on some, some storage for water. I mean, there's so many things. If we got to spend money, and believe me, I don't like just spending money we don't have, but if we're going to spend it, let's get something back for it. You implied that 
they, what they really want to do here is just get the the ground broken. They want to just get this thing started. They think that that'll give them some momentum to continue to milk the money. Is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. They want to get this thing started so they can say, hey, well, we, we got it started now. We can't stop. Uh, but, again, I think there's some folks that are going to make an awful lot of money. But uh, in, the, in the end, it's the state of California, the people of California, our great-grandchildren who are going to be paying for this forever. And it's going to train to nowhere. It's going to end up being a bike path. They're not going to finish it. <laughs> and, uh, bike path. It, it's just going to be a bike path. That, that's the truth. And we just got to stop it now. And I, and I encourage everybody out there listening, please talk to your assembly people. Talk to your senators. Because I know Folks out there don't believe that this thing's going to be good for California. It's not what was pitched. And yeah. that's, that's, government has no right to spend more money than what was approved. Well, what you wrote in your piece is that the original pitch was that the state investment would be $11 billion. The federal government would provide $11 billion. And then private companies, $11 billion. And the total would be $33 billion. And that's to get high-speed rail in two hours and 40 minutes which is impossible under the current plan. It's impossible. They've even said that they're not going to make it. There's no way. That kicks it out right there. If we go by what the people voted for, it will not be going at two hours and 40 minutes or 220 miles an hour. That's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Therefore, it, they, we need to re-vote on this thing. I, we don't need a, 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 a slow train. You know, well, well, that's what we gonna, this would be. This would be a slow train. It's I, exactly. I, it makes me crazy every time I see high speed rail because the, their their plan by their own admission it's no longer high speed. It's going to take at least four hours. Absolutely, it's not what the people of California voted for, and that's why we're just trying to put as much light on it as possible. Um, please, folks, talk. Talk to your your Senate Assembly members because we need to get this thing stopped. I'm I'm going to introduce legislation again. I tried with some amendments on my first five weeks when I got up there to to stop this thing and put it to a revote. Just let the people of California revote on it. Uh, polls are showing that people of California really would like a revote, and uh, and we know that uh, they really don't want it. All right, State Senator Andy Vidak, thanks for talking to us. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, Republican from Hanford. When we come back, we'll talk a bit about this ballot initiative that this assemblyman from Camarillo, Jeff Gorell, is proposing. We want to get him on the show, and that would have us revote on high-speed rail. And then, believe it if you might, yesterday we talked about Jerry Brown's budget and how the spending is going to go up like 9%. You know what the reaction from his Democrat colleagues in the legislature is? It's too stingy. <laughs> There you go. They're going to try to expand it even yeah. further. We'll talk about all this. We're back on that train, the high spending train. Oh, it's a Johnny Ketch show. John Cobell.